Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a pressing issue that many developers encounter when working with Keycloak. Our viewer is experiencing a significant bottleneck when trying to retrieve user information from their application. Let's dive into the details of their situation and explore potential solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's analyze the bottleneck you're experiencing with your Keycloak setup. You mentioned that a single request to list users takes around four seconds, and this time increases significantly with multiple instances of your script running. First, it's important to understand that the performance issue may stem from the way Keycloak handles requests. The version you're using, Keycloak 2.5-0, is quite old. Upgrading to a newer version could provide performance improvements and bug fixes. Next, consider optimizing your script. Instead of requesting the master token for each iteration, you can request it once and reuse it for all subsequent user requests. This will significantly reduce the overhead of obtaining the token multiple times. Additionally, you might want to implement pagination or limit the number of users returned in a single request. Instead of fetching thousand users at once, Try fetching smaller batches, which can help reduce the load on the server. Finally, ensure that your Keycloak server has adequate resources allocated, especially if you're running it in a Docker container. Monitor CPU and memory usage to identify any resource constraints. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing a bottleneck with your app, consider increasing the JVM heap size in your Docker configuration. This can help improve performance. For more insights, check out a great blog that discusses memory issues with the JVM in Docker. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.